Let's quickly understand how to use the delete mapping in order to delete the customer in the list, right? So to do that, I'm going to create what one method inside our customer resource class. The method name is what delete delete customer, right? So the delete customer method, which is actually going to take what you know the customer ID as an argument. I don't want this method to return anything, so void, then the method should be available publicly, right? I'm going to annotate this method as what, you know, delete mapping, right? And then in the value attribute, I'm going to pass the path param as what? Customer ID. The same we have to set it in what? The customer ID variable. So I have to do that. So path variable, I have to pass what? Customer ID, right? So now we have a customer service class, customer service dot delete customer then we have to pass what the customer ID now let me see whether it's this is working or not let me run this application cool our application is started successfully let's go to the postman now we have to create the customer let's create the customer cool the customer is created now let's retrieve the customer yes we have list of customer in the list we have only one customer available now let's see Yes, we are able to receive what, you know, the single customer. Now I'm going to delete this customer by invoking the delete HTTP method, right? So now I'm sending what delete request to this endpoint, right? The customer slash the customer ID. Now you can see what we are not getting any response because we are not sending any response for this particular request. In order to make sure whether our customer object is deleted or not, just go back to what, you know, your get. Now simply actually what? get the customer list now you can see what there is no customer object is available that means our customer object is deleted successfully from the list thanks for watching